such thing as a Batman. Captain Gordon! Captain Gordon! Let's go! No further questions! No further questions! All units! All units! Code 10 at Blackgate Prison. Communication is down. Possible 211. Delta 6-4 on route. Dispatch 5-9. Confirm Code 10. This is a breakout. Suspect identified as Black Mask. Repeat. Code 10 suspect is Black Mask. Commissioner Loeb is being held captive. Repeat. Commissioner Loeb is 701. What is that? Behind you! Oh, come on. Expect me to fall for that? I mean, try something original. Yeah. What the hell are you? Black Mask. I... I don't know. He's here for Commissioner Loeb. Maybe one of his men knows where he's headed. James Gordon with the GCPD. These are Black Mask's men. I'll make them tell me where I can find Black Mask. to make you talk. How much pain you endure before that is in your hands. Screw you! I don't have time for this. Okay, okay. We said it to the execution chamber. <coughs> With Loeb. Smart move. Now you get to take a nap.
They say crime doesn't pay. Someone ought to check the good police commissioner's pockets. Because they are lined with my money. And what have I got to show for? Huh? My own men in the slammer? No, I'm on more. Boom! So tonight, we're making some changes. Some new changes. What's all this about, Lannis? Haven't I always come through for you? You may have, Gillian, but uh, things have changed. We're starting with a clean slate, and you're not on it. What are you talking about? I'm not on it? After all I've done for you! Show's over, boys. Let's go. I'm too late. Commissioner Loeb is dead. Black Mask has a lot to answer for. It's the best! We're never getting out of here! Come on. going.
such thing as a Batman, eh? Alfred, I've got... I'm tracking it too. It appears the control towers you use for your auto-nav systems are putting out a jamming signal. Storm damage? You'll have to go down there and find that out for yourself, sir. Got it. Be close to one now. Probably went out. What the? Grab the hostages! You, you seeing this? What the hell is it? I'll pull this trigger. I ain't playing. I can drop smoke pellets to conceal my... I need to get up and out of danger. He can't shoot what he can't see. Attacking head-on is a good way to get myself shot. And probably the hostage, too. But they won't expect an attack from above. Nobody ever does. Is that thing out there with you? Are you crazy? We were answering the service phone, that's it! Help! I quit. I don't think this tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. And I should start by identifying the victim. Victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired. And it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And... Hmm. That's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer. But I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. the codes I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels. Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Well, well, if it isn't the King Thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery. One you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. 
I mean, this one's practically <laughs> begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. Hmm, Black Mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? With the jammer offline, I can travel here with the Batwing. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. But then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. Looks like I'm the first one here. I need to find a spot where I can stake this place out unnoticed. Penguin. Not a dime changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. His men are doing a deal here. I'll make them talk. Guys! <laughs> so, little boys, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, wait. I already know. on my comm systems. Is that on your side? No, sir. I'm seeing it as well. It's from the nearby GCR tower. It's the same signal jamming the Batwing's auto-nav systems. I've highlighted the tower on your map. I'll need to stop that signal before I can track down the Penguin. You know, if you'd asked nicely, I'd have opened it for you. Congratulations are in order. Maybe you're not as stupid as I've been led to believe. Why are you doing this, Enigma? Direct. I like it. So, I'll tell you. Gotham's sullied. It's filled with brutes who control this city through violence and intimidation. You didn't answer my question. Because you didn't let me finish! 
I want to get rid of them, Batman, to improve Gotham's intellectual and moral standing. But I'm not a thug like you. My approach is a bit more... refined. What you're doing is no different than stealing. There's nothing refined about it. <laughs> Your response is as predictable as it is banal. Goodbye. Now I can access the SIM card I took from that arms dealer and hack Penguin's communications. The Penguin's pretty pissed off about the deal going south. Yeah, if I was involved in that, I'd be on my way out of the city. Alfred, I'm reading a signal from Penguin's men, but it's not associated with any known wireless frequency. Ah, yes, I see it here. Looks like Penguin runs his own private wireless network, using laptop transmitters serving as ad hoc comm stations. He's feeding his men frequencies via two-way radio. There are two of these comm stations near your position. Good. Mark them on my map. If I can find and hack those walkie-talkies, I can triangulate Penguin's position. and I'll crush your larynx. What's it going to be? All right, all right. Uh, he's in his office. Only way in is through the theater. On the other side of the casino. But you'll never get past Tracy. Tracy is not a problem. That worked better than the last interrogation.
Defense is controlled from that security room. Deep in it. Candy! <sighs> She's earned herself a dry slap, she has. That better be lip gloss you're reaching for. I knew you didn't have what it takes to fight me fair! Now, where were we? Candy. You suggested little Alberto over here. Hey, baby. Try to convince his father to take early retirement. He disagreed and called you a, let's see, psychotic little bastard. No, 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 please! <laughs> <laughs> Now you best listen, Falcone. Cause this is the last time I'll ask. What are you gonna tell your father? That we're getting out of the weapons business. I promise. I'll make him do it. <laughs> I see your lips flapping, Bernie. But they ain't making the sound I want to hear. Uh oh. 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 <laughs> no! You idiots better kill me. Please. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Remind me why I made boxes. Is that nothing as possible? What are you waiting for? Now hold on. Hold on a bloody minute! Oh, I seen your act! I ain't done nothing you not done! Stop! Black Mask! Put a bounty on my head! Where is he? I don't keep tabs on him in Giza with a grudge! You're not a popular bloke in this town! You're running out of time. Wait, wait. <coughs> Lacey Towers. There was a murder. It was supposed to be his same house. But all black man did. He's got problems of his own, I'd say. Someone broke in there. <coughs> Your methods and tactics are impressive, but in theory, they will not save you.
Flash over out. believe Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. I can reconstruct the crime scene with the evidence scanner. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis's girlfriend or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height, but the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the Penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room, but these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. 
The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. Could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. Sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body. An unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful, non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Any other scumbag. We can't find dirt. We make our own. I'm listening. What if Captain Gordon allowed all the perks to hold themselves and go free? You mean we set them loose? Little prison riot right here in GCPD. Makes him look like he doesn't have control, right? How do we make it happen? Let me think a minute. 
Perp spotted! Oh. Hold it! Just, just hold it! So what does this disruptor of yours do? Little bit of this, little bit of that. Mostly though, it does a whole lot of nothing. Not you again! Talk, or you won't be walking anywhere, ever. No way! You gotta answer for dropping me off that rooftop, buddy! No, you have to answer to me. How does this disruptor work? Ask one of the pigs! They got it in evidence lockup! How about we take a little walk up to the roof? Okay, okay, you win! It it jams weapons, overrides electronic locks, all right? Now you gotta let me go! How'd that work out for you last time? Oh. Get yourself to a shelter. You kidding? That's where they round us up! Hey, you don't get it. Anarchy gets it, but you? Hey, you don't get it, man. I need access to the National Criminal Database. It's right here. You must spend a lot of time here. Cool poem box. You're bypassing the network security. Hmm. But you'll need to physically bridge the intranet to the external telecom wires if you want to uplink remotely. This kind of knowledge could get a young girl into a lot of trouble. They run under the building. What does? The telecom wires. You can access them through the sewers. Wait. Why do you do what you do? 
Because I made a promise. Get out of here! <laughs> server remotely. I need to hack into the telecom wires under the GCPD. You should be able to access them from the sewers which run below the building. I'll peg the closest entrance on your map. I don't uh, want to hurt you, but you need to stay out of my way. Uh, never! Listen, I'm on your side. My side? My side works within the law. My side doesn't leave suspects with broken bones and missing teeth. We've earned Gotham's respect. If that were true, I wouldn't believe you. Gordon, clear the line of fire! Hold your fire! If he moves, take him down. You've got nowhere to run. Move, Gordon! I'm taking him down! by manhole on your map. Those sewer tunnels lead directly under the GCPD. Good work, Alfred. Oh, and sir, do try to keep out of the uh, muck down there. Remember who has to clean your suit. All right, we've had our fun. This endeavor's grown tiresome. Interesting. Watching you figure that one out was a real treat. I'll make sure the next one is even more provocative. This isn't a game, Enigma. Oh, but it is. And one you're more than welcome to stop playing. Now you need to stop interfering with my work. Tackling these towers is one thing, but my handlers, my data, my network relays, those aren't meant for you, so back off! Strange. These are black masks, men. Not the kind of guys I'd expect to find a run around in the sewers. an expert martial artist to protect us down here. <laughs> protect us from what? The rats? No, the bats, you idiot. The bat. The bat's got better things to do tonight than hang out in the oh! We now have access to the National Criminal Database. Connection confirmed. You can now perform DNA analysis. I'm also sending over the police file for the Lacey Towers case. This photo is from the day of the murder. It's a perfect match. The DNA tells more of the story. But here's something the police overlooked. Roman Sionis owns the Gotham Merchants Bank. And he installed biometric security only he could access.
Alfred. I have enough information to solve the Lacey Towers case. Here's what happened. By now, Gotham PD thinks Roman Sionis is dead. The casualty of a turf war. Murdered by the Penguin. But I know better. Someone spooked Sionis' girlfriend. So he sent her to his safe house. Which was anything but safe. Sionis showed up later. Ready for trouble. And found it. Or so it seemed. Roman's always been paranoid. That's probably why he's lasted this long. He'd sent in a decoy. Giving himself the element of surprise. But it wasn't enough. There was a fight. Sionis lost. The killer didn't hesitate to shoot the decoy, but he wanted Roman alive to access the cash stored at the Gotham Merchants Bank. With Sionis under control, all that remained was to tie up loose ends. But it wasn't the fire that killed Sionis' girlfriend. What kind of monster forces a man to kill the ones he loves? The Joker. He's the shadow I've been chasing. And now I know where he's going next. Gotham Merchants Bank. Alfred, see if you can find any information on someone named the Joker. Searching now, sir. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything coming up. What do you know about him? Not much, but he's taken Black Mask hostage. Hostage? So, Sionis isn't dead? I don't think so. From what I can tell, he's worth more to the Joker alive. The Joker wants to use him to break into the Gotham Merchant's bank. I'm on my way there now. You can just waltz under my bank, huh? Roman, I'm here for the Joker. The Joker? <laughs> Never heard of him. How about you, dog? Know the Joker? The who? <laughs> and you, sir? Name Joker? Ring a bell? <laughs> you son of a bitch! You think you can steal from me? And get away with it! You're a dead man. Dead! Can't you just play along? You're insane! It's been you this whole time. You hired the assassins. You've been running Sionis' operation. Well, technically it's my operation now. Isn't that right, boys? You got me. Now let her go. Oh, life would be so simple if you were all I wanted. No, no. You're just a teeny little distraction compared to what I've got up my sleeve. <laughs> Here, have a laugh on me! <laughs> Do you hear that? Sounds like eight tiny reindeer! She's 
dead. Stop! Stop! Where's the Joker going? Guy's nuts, man. Killed about a quarter of black masked men when they wouldn't take orders from him. Unless you want to join them, talk. He said something about the steel mill. That's Sionis's mill. <laughs> it's Joker's mill now. Ain't no way you're getting in there. I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> Alfred, pull schematics on Sionis Industries' steel mill. Joker's taken Sionis there. He's going to kill him. Unless I get there first. This Joker sounds dangerous. He's taken over Black Mask's operations and slaughtered the men who wouldn't turn. He's the one who hired the assassins. And it must be he who ordered the bombing of the GCPD. Oh, dear Lord, shouldn't you think about letting the police handle this one? Not a chance. He's mine. Receiving it now, sir. Interesting. Cyanus had a pacemaker implanted. It says here he had prolonged QT syndrome. Anything that raises his heart rate could trigger cardiac arrest. Cyanus was having the Joker followed. These photos show him obtaining chemicals used in making explosives. If I find Cyanus, he'll know what the Joker's planning. Sir, I found the security codes you were looking for. You have access to the building now. Master Bruce, looking through Sionis's files, I found reference to a chemical similar to the compound you need for your glue grenade. I'm going to try to synthesize it in our lab. If it works, I'll have a prototype for you as soon as the resin cures. Good. I'll need it. The more I learn about the Joker, the more I realize there's something very different about him. Waiting for something. Get me out of this thing. Where's the Joker? Go to hell. Wrong answer. I count there are still nine more ribs I can break. Do you think that'll make me talk? After what he's put me through, the torture, turned my men on me, stole from me, murdered my woman, he's my kill, not yours! I can control your pacemaker remotely. You want to see what 250 beats per minute feels like? You wouldn't. <laughs> Pay you whatever you want. Make them suffer it up. <clears throat> An empty promise from a fallen king. I know about the Joker. A couple of freaks. You two deserve each other. What did you do to me? I killed you. And in a few more minutes. Your body will realize it. <laughs> That's it. Use your strength. With every effort, you hasten your end. <laughs> Must scan the room for Copperhead's poison. Female perspiration. Copperhead came this way. All I need is one drop of poison. There. 
it's a powerful neurotoxin. Alfred, uploading analysis of a neurotoxin. I need you to synthesize an antidote. Your vitals are off the charts. What happened? Uh, never mind. Just get up to ground level so I can send in an airdrop. And after this, you're coming back here so I can have a look at you. What would your father say if he could see you now? Throwing away your family's hard-earned fortune on these frivolous nightly escapades. And for what? You're not this city's savior. You're a wane. And a spoiled, wasteful disappointment of a wane at that. Have you forgotten what your family name stands for? You disappoint me. You disappoint me. Poison is still in your veins and it will remain there as long as you live, which won't be very long. You think these ties will hold me? Maybe not. I'd like to see you out of place. I know where he is. The Joker. Tell me. He's called the meeting. All the assassins will be there. When you set me free, I'll tell you where. Thanks. I owe you one. Wait! I can tell you the location! You already did.
Alfred, send GCPD an anonymous tip. Tell them to look inside the shipping containers at the steel mill. And does that mean you've dealt with Copperhead, sir? Yes, and I'm about to deal with the Joker. I don't think that's wise after what you've just been through. You should come back here for medical... Not now, Alfred. Electrocutioner's gloves emit a powerful electromagnetic signal which I can follow with my scanner. He'll lead me right to the Joker. But I need to get out of the steel mill first. I need to get inside the security room. Friends, assassins, welcome to our first quarterly performance review. As you can see here, Batman deaths are coming in far below projections. <laughs> we are really gonna have to turn this around. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> Got that, Mr. Cushioner? Just who the hell are you? I'm the guy with the money. And the gun. <laughs> so, when I hire you to kill the Batman, you shall... Shut the hell up and kill the Batman! So do you have anything else to contribute? I didn't think so. One wants a piece. All right, meetings adjourned. Get out there and kill the bat. Move it along, big boy. No, he's coming for you now. And when he gets here, I'm going to kill him. ceiling so I can get out of here. Maybe Electrocutioner's shock gloves could restore power to this platform. I've never seen anything like this. These bombs are set to detonate December 31st. I should be able to disarm them with my cryptographic sequencer.
just couldn't wait till New Year's, huh? Who guess the fireworks are going off early? <laughs> Psychopaths before, but this. Sir, I strongly suggest you call in Captain Gordon. He could be a valuable ally for you. I don't need any allies. To drop in <coughs> and just in time, oh, he's my parasol. <laughs> Remember, you gave your word. You have one minute. Do they even have manners where he comes from? <laughs> you see. It's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. Hmm. How about... this one? <laughs> and a party in a pantry! How many lives did you just take? None! I think... That was just a little stocking stuffer. A construction site blocking my view. <laughs> but this one isn't.
And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I present I to you the death of the Batman. Let us see what you can do. Deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Don't move, freak! I think he's talking to you. Let me guess. He got away. Take him to Blackgate.
else would jump off a building to save your sorry ass? You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy, bitey little thunderbolts and wanted party crashes screaming for your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona to rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own universe. Oh. I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds delightful. <laughs> okay. One more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you wanna know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil, predetermined not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. Tonight, it's all changed. What's changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities. It was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So met someone special? Yes. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own? It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course you Stand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. No one cares. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... Like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear... I've never felt before. 
<laughs> you understand? You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halleen. Halleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Harley? Oh, uh... I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. Dispatch, this is Delta 47. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. What's the story back at the precinct? Place is Eva. Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do. stops to think twice. That is fear. That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. Tonight will not be my end, but it will be theirs.
I trust you realize you can't just waltz into the GCPD after everything that's happened there tonight. I know I can't do that. I'll have to find a way in that'll avoid detection. Indeed. Now look, I'm sorry about what I said before you left. I hope you understand. It's just because... It's okay. I understand. It's not Bane, but one of his men. The same one I saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. That computer should contain the autopsy report I'm looking for. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. There's Bane's tracker. who I am. You're not safe at Wayne Manor. Got it. I'll call the police. No, I can't risk them discovering my identity as well. Just secure yourself in the Batcave. What are you going to do? I'm on my way to you. I'll figure something out. I need to get back to the Batcave, and quickly. Repeat, suspect is airborne in a jet pack, armed with a flamethrower. Multiple hostages on the Pioneer Bridge. Firefly. He must not know Joker's behind bars. He's putting those people in danger to get to me. Delta 6-5 to dispatch. Who's the OIC at Pioneers? Captain James Gordon is the officer in charge. A lot of lives could be at risk at the bridge. If I can hack Firefly's communication channel, I can learn more. Cops try anything stupid, kill a few hostages. Sure thing. And, uh, how long before we set the timers on the bombs? Not until the bat shows. We'll wait all night if we have to. There's 50 million dollars riding on this. Alfred, Firefly has hostages on the Pioneer's Bridge. I need to deal with him before coming back. Uh, can't you just let the police handle Mr. Linz? Especially in light of what we've just learned. I can't abandon those hostages. They're in jeopardy because of me. Because of the bounty Joker placed on my head. They'll be safe in the Batcave. This is a hostage situation, people. Get into position and prepare to breach on my order. Do not provoke or engage the suspect. He's got hostages in the bridge sublevel. Just get yourselves into position. Draw Firefly away from the bridge so I can approach safely. Listen up! The bat is here! It's just 
one of those stinking pigs. Set your foot on this bridge. Set the timer. We'll blow them all to hell. Gordon would never order a breach if he knew about Firefly's bombs. I've got to stop him before he sends his men into a trap. Dispatch, this is Marine 4. Where's the tactical command post? We're supposed to report to Gordon. The CCC is inside the center pillar at the base of the bridge. 10-4. We got trouble! Any idea how many hostages he's got? Lots. Nah, man, that's not what you want. Trust me. Don't send in your men. Firefly has the bridge rigged with explosives. Show yourself! You have a go! No! Call them back. If Firefly blows the bridge, there's no telling how many will die. You're the reason those people are in danger. He's doing this for the bounty on your head! Give yourself up! I'm going to bring in Firefly myself. Don't send anyone else in until I tell you it's safe. You'll stay the hell out of this! You hear me? Anyone have eyes on Brandon? Bravo 2, command. That's a negative. All units, maintain your positions. No one else goes in without my order. Surrender! How many bombs are on this bridge? Four! Four! One here, one directly above us, in the bridge sub-level. And one more at each end of the bridge. Those are the big ones. That's all of them, I promise! Then I promise you a good night's sleep. Four bombs on the bridge, with the largest bombs at each end. I'll need to disarm this bomb before going on the others. after the bounty on my head all night. It was never Sionis. The Joker put up the bounty, and now he's behind bars. I heard, but I still got a score to settle with you. I'm giving you the rest of the night off. You took an oath to uphold the law. When I see you again, I expect you to be following that oath to the letter. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Is everyone okay in there? Yes, thanks to you. You can escape down through the central pillar. Soon as I clear the room, head out. You... Y you're the Batman. You'll find the police at the base of the central column. Screw the police. You saved us. You're a hero. Just get yourself and the others to safety as soon as I'm gone. Open the fire door in the train depot so I can disarm Firefly's bomb at the north end of the bridge. Get off this frequency! Now! Listen, I'm on my way to disarm the bomb at the south end. Have this door open by the time I get back. 
You let me do my job, and stay the hell out of my way! Damn it. Alfred, there's a fire door blocking my progress. I need codes to get past it. The police should have access to those codes. Perhaps Captain Gordon... Gordon won't cooperate. I'm heading to get the other bomb. Get those codes to me by the time I'm done. Right. I'll do my best. All right, all units, we are breaching. Move in, people! Gordon, I've defused three of the four bombs. As soon as I defuse the final bomb... We're breaching now. You're too late. Alfred, open the fire door. As you wish, sir.
Don't give him too much credit. Something tells me that if you hadn't given the bomb squad the breach order, this bridge would be at the bottom of the river. Get him out of here. Eh. You didn't listen. I'm not big on taking orders from wanted men. I'm not big on taking orders from cops. I should have gotten to that last bomb. Yeah. And I should have given you access to that security door. But between the two of us, we covered it pretty well. Vision is down. Hang on, Alfred. The computer isn't working. I need to restore detective vision before I can find Alfred. Damage the computer. I need to restore detective vision. There, that should do it. Alfred! Alfred! Can you hear me? I'm going to get you out of there. Alfred! Alfred! Alfred, you can't. Don't add me to the weight you carry.
Come on, damn it! supportive of what you do but I understand now go they need you out there I can't defend Gotham I can't even defend my own home Master Bruce Now is not the time for doubt. I can't do it. I can't stop them. No, you can't. Not on your own, but it's high time you realize that you are a man, not an island. And a man's strength comes not from just brawn and intelligence, but also from his allies. The one alert. The Joker has escaped from his cell and is leading the riots at Blackgate. Repeat, the Joker has taken over the entire prison. Multiple casualties. Multiple hostages. Again, we have lost Blackgate. Captain Gordon is calling on anyone. Anyone for assistance. They need you. No. They need us. Thanks. Thanks for... I could use your help. Captain Gordon's on his way. Secure the gate for him, then help him lock this place down. The Joker cannot be allowed out of here. Yes, sir. We're on it. Prison Officer 47 to Captain James Gordon. What is your ETA at Blackgate? Uh, five minutes. You getting those gates open? Right by the time you're here. Right, George. <laughs> I got that son of a bitch! I would have said there ain't no Batman. Maybe those hostages know where the Joker's hiding. Are you okay? What's it to you? You were almost killed. Uh, occupational hazard. Look, I know why you're here. He's in the Panopticon, and he's waiting for you. Apparently, the Joker's afraid of me. Wouldn't let me out. And for good reason. I don't like 
having my time wasted. You should have known trying to kill me was a waste of your time. <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. Not unless someone else puts up 50 million bucks. I wasn't worried. it on every beat of his bacon little heart will charge the battery on this electric chair and when it's fully charged <laughs> so either you kill Bane <laughs> no I won't kill him but you will you will fight me with all your resolve or you will die someone is going to die you, me, or the clown? The question of which one of us it is, is in your hands. A compassionate man would be home, mourning the loss of his servant and lifelong companion right now. Yet here you are. Don't move! Maybe you should move. Oh, good lord. Careful, Jim. When that chair goes off, that's 2,000 volts. You won't make it. You don't need to. <laughs> Jim, 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 Jim. Have a seat, Jimbo. We'll fry together like two little potato latkes. I got a pulse. I'm gonna jumpstart your heart. Kill you again! May you find the peace in death that you did not find in life. I'm not looking for peace. If I can use my shock gloves to temporarily stop Bane's heart, my only hope. It's over, Joker. Let Captain Gordon go. Yeah, put the gun down, freak. How about I put you down? Gordon! Well, that's the Christmas spirit. <laughs> well, I'd love to stay and celebrate your victory, but I've got stockings to stuff, mistletoe to hang, and about 15 skyscrapers to blow up before sunrise. Ciao! <laughs> I 
God you had your vest on. He's, he's got my gun! Gordon, Joseph, I need your help to stop the Joker. Our help? You're the so-called vigilante. Or is one kill enough for you tonight? Bane's in cardiopulmonary arrest. I have only minutes to resuscitate him before it's too late. You mean, you didn't? That's not how I do things. Now go. TN1 Bane took damaged his memory permanently. Ah, does that mean he won't be revealing your identity? Looks that way. Glad to hear it, sir. And the Joker? He's still on the loose. 
but not for long. This is Captain Gordon at Blackgate Prison, requesting immediate medevac. Warden Joseph has been shot. Repeat, Warden Joseph is down. EMT chopper on route. ETA 15 minutes. Tell them to hurry up! Where's Gordon? Sniper! Would your locals back for more? I've had enough of you for one night. Not yet, you haven't. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Screw this! Want the Joker? Take him. Help me keep these guys off the warden! Somebody kill this freak! It's just a man, right? You got no respect! Joseph, they're on their way. You're going to make it. Where's the Joker? He went through that door. Towards the chapel. Thanks. One way to stop me! <laughs> Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. You know, my daughter thinks you're a hero. But I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in! What's your 20? I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch. You caught him. And how did you do that? I had some help. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is, I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least, that's what I used to think. Stop, please. 
apart. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Maybe, maybe I can give them something to believe in. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. tried so hard, my dear, to show that you're my every dream. Yet you're afraid each thing I do is just some evil scheme. <laughs> A memory from your lonesome past keeps us so far apart. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? Another crime before my time made your heart sad and blue. And so now you make me pay for things I didn't do. In anger, unkind words are said that make the teardrops start. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? You'll never know how much it hurts to never see you smile. You know you need and want to laugh <laughs> Yet you claim it's not your style. Why do you hide behind that mask? I'm trying to do my part. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? There was a time when I believed that you belonged to me. But now I know your heart is shackled to a memory. You won't admit that we're the same and it's tearing me apart! Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? <laughs> Our next guest, political strategist Dean Snyder, has been following tonight's events since the start, more than eight hours ago. Dr. Snyder, let's start with you. What's your view? Well, Jack, it's a travesty. The ultimate failing of the justice system. A vigilante cleaning up our streets after countless deaths and bombings? What has happened to our police force? What about James Gordon? He didn't exactly prove himself tonight. 
Hold on a minute, Dean. Now, I'm no defender of the GCPD or Captain Gordon, for that matter. Like you said, tonight's debacle is some reflection of his efficacy, but I can't see any police force in any municipality doing a substantially better job against criminals like this Joker character or any of the hired killers he's brought into town. I mean, these guys are a different breed. We've never seen anything like this. So for me, it's less a reflection on Gotham's cops and more of a reflection on the state of our country. A country where our mental health and education systems are so warped and broken that we produce criminals of this nature. You raise an interesting point, Hank, but what I'm wondering is what we'll do next. No, it's not an interesting point. It's just plain wrong. They're both wrong. This isn't about the police or the Batman. It isn't about the state of our nation somehow churning out a dangerous new batch of the criminally deranged. It's about the failing of one single institution. An institution which, in my view, represents the biggest threat to Gotham and its citizens. A time bomb, just waiting to go off. If tonight's events have taught us anything, it's that Blackgate is not the place to be housing our city's most dangerous offenders. Not one, but two prison breaks in the same night. All of tonight's tragedies would have been avoided if Gotham had a proper treatment facility for its top echelon offenders. A place with impenetrable security, where the most dangerous could be isolated, rehabilitated, and treated for their illness. A place like Arkham Asylum. And after what happened tonight, I promise the good people of Gotham that I will work tirelessly. I will lobby the city council, go to the governor if I have to, do everything in my power to get Arkham Asylum reopened. So we can all sleep a little easier. There you have it. Quincy Sharp placing the blame for tonight's events not on the Batman, not on the Joker, but on Blackgate Prison. And pledging to return Arkham Asylum to full operations. We'll be back with more from Mr. Sharp and our other guests when the Jack Ryder Hour continues after this message. <laughs> Figured you'd be by sooner or later. And what happens if I don't sign? You rot in here, or you work for me.